Your sets look great in the light, but how do they look in the dark? Four years ago, I discovered a way to light up your LEGO sets that anyone can afford to do. It seems simple to do, but there are some techniques and tips that I want to share that'll give you the best results and prevent disaster. So now I'm going to be taking you through the process of lighting up my LEGO ghost set. You can buy a six pack of these string lights on Amazon for $5.99, which comes out to be just a dollar for one of these light packs. I'm sure you can even find these string lights in retail stores or even on sale online somewhere, because you can even light up shelves with the larger lights. But are these lights better than traditional lighting methods? Let's decide. Here I have a branded light kit for the Dark Trooper helmet set. It looks amazing, but really only two bricks light up for a lot of money. And if you want a larger lit up set, then you're looking at spending a lot more money. With the $1 method, you're getting a lot less powerful lights, but a lot more of them. That'll give off a better glow effect like this one for Darth Vader's transformation set. I also bought these black market Lego lights that the seller told me could light up an entire warehouse. So we're gonna be testing this against my method later in the video. These seem dangerous and I really hope nothing goes wrong. So to light our ghost, we're gonna be using a combination of different strategies that I use to light up other models. The cargo hold area will do similar to my Venator where we have lights looping in and out so that way the strings get condensed and more lights are visible throughout the length of the ship. And we'll also be mimicking the cockpit technique that I use for my Lego gunship, where we're going to bend the wires in a way that keep the shape of the dome piece even when it's open for minifigures inside. So glad I didn't use the black market lights on that set because I can't risk its beauty. Then the last part that we need to nail are the engines. And I've done this before for my Lego Star Destroyer with custom interior. Subscribe if you want to see a review of that in the future. The engines are always the hardest part to do because these translucent pieces are isolated so it's hard to hide the wires coming out of them. Now it's finally time to light up our Lego Ghost. And as a bonus, I'll be lighting up Obi-Wan Kenobi's Starfighter as well, with the black market lights that are probably very dangerous and should not be used. Okay, you know what? These are getting a little out of control, so let's just go ahead and set this off to the side for now while we work on the ghost. Money shot! Oh, that was actually a really good money shot. These are white. Awesome. Now you also need to find a starting point and an ending point for your lights. So kind of get an idea of the uh, length that you have because you could either have a lot of extra lights or run out of lights. Also identifying where to start is important because that's where you're gonna wanna keep the battery pack. You're probably gonna want the light pack to be in the back somewhere over here. Would this fit in here with the Phantom on it? So that's kind of freaking awesome. Yeah, okay, it's concealed right there. So that's where our starting point is going to be. So we want one light visible in here. So we're gonna like loop it so that way it stays there. We want another light visible in the cargo area. You know what, we're just gonna take off both these panels. It might make it easier to access all this dub jub. I don't know what that means. Huh? Man, we're really just deconstructing this entire thing. So we're just gonna go to the engines. <laughs> I just realized I had this set put together wrong the entire time. That's embarrassing. I don't even know if I should put that in the video. Don't know how we're gonna loop this through. Everything's just getting all contorted and wrapped up. And it's making this kind of infuriating for the test. Huh. We might have to change the dish piece out, make it more see-through, because that just looked booty. All right, we finished. And now is the moment of truth. We're gonna take off the phantom here, take out the light pack that we hid in here. Uh, kind of hard to turn on, but once it is on, hey, yo, this looks pretty nice. For a dollar, we'll fast forward to when it's nighttime so that we can see how bright it actually is. But for now, let's take a look at the interior. All nice and lit up in there. Our cockpit area as well. Look at that. Now you do get the nasty annoying wires there. I didn't really spend a lot of time on wire management. So that is why it looks a little bit goofy. But overall, we were able to get it all the way through, which is... What the... F How? What? Well, this just is not good at all. That's why you don't use black market lights. This is just not acceptable um that was not supposed to happen it's raining and it's still on fire this is why you're gonna want to only use my method when lighting up your sets because that could happen It won't go out. 
that's probably why I shouldn't have used the black market lights.